Behind me right here is the 1965 Fastback. This car has not seen the road in 43 years. Wait, 44 years now, it's 2019. This car was taken off the road in 1975 uh, in Texas and we believe it was sold to a scrapyard or a private dealer. It made its way up to Canada and we bought it three years ago now. Unfortunately, we haven't had the time to work on it until right now. That's right, we're working on this Fastback and bringing this pony back to life and on the road. Stay tuned for this revival. Okay, so we're looking at the 65 Fastback and we're just wondering if it has compression. We're just looking at it, looking over everything to make sure um, what it needs. If, if I so can... give that a crank, see if you can... Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to go for sure. Oh, wait, wait. Is it spinning? No. No? I hit a hard spot. Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, this okay, is turning. It is turning. It is turning. I hear compression. It almost feels like. No, I think yeah. you're good. No, right there. No? Right there. Something's stopping it. Valve? Could be. I'll pull these babies off and then just look at your action. But it sounds like it's got compression. Yeah, I think it'll go, or actually. It's too stiff. <laughs> maybe. All right, maybe. Texas. Let's give it a shot. Texas bound again. Woo! So when we first bought the Fastback, we initially thought for some reason that the engine was seized. Now that may not be the case as seen in the previous clip, but there are a few underlying issues with her. Let's see if we can figure them out. There seems to be a rough spot in its rotation. So we're just taking off the intake and the heads to see if we can see anything further. 360? It's just before and... So you're almost there. Yeah. Trying to compress this. Possibly. What is that, rat? Mouse shit? I don't know. Looks like it. Something got in there. I'd say it is. So, that's probably the ridge you got stuck on. So now, hang on. Before you go any further. Okay, so there's our mark. Here we go down. Yeah. 
that's what it is. Here it comes. There's your mark. Oh, further. It's gonna be right at that top of the land. Yeah. Right there. Oh. There. And now, now it'll spin. See? You cleaned it off. So you're trying to compress that little bit of shit there. Whatever it may be. That's it. It almost seems like that could have been. No, I, that looks like freeze. That looks like mouse stuff. Is that like what the like hell? How would a mouse would have got in there? What's going on here? Did they? Is that just? You know what? I was looking at that because if you look over here, the those bugs in where in there the fuel line. Yeah. It's like those wasps, oh, mud wasps yeah, or something. This is, this is a Texas car. Where's the screwdriver? We'll pop Which back. one? The little flat we had. So these are all the exhaust bolts for the manifolds. Mm. And it is yeah. some type of mud wasp, or whatever they call them. Locking up the holes. So that could be what was in the exhaust port too then. Possibly. A buildup of insects, because it did look like there were the wing, wings, wings yeah, in there. Yeah, I didn't see that. That's right. So they basically plugged that all up, so we'll have to run the top through here. So we're going to clean everything up. It's pretty crusty. Oh. Crusties. She's turning over good now. Look at that one. Holy... So got the motor stripped down to a short block and just clean up the piston top. Sorry. Really disgusting Look looking pistons. Look at the valley. Someone. I'll take a little peek at that oh, lovely look at piston. That. Look at this. The crusties. Here, let me show you how flaky this is. Look. You getting this? Look, watch. Oh, nice. Nice. Someone didn't danger oil. Someone didn't adjust their carburetor. <laughs> Someone forgot to kick the choke off. <sighs> so anyways, we're just doing a quick little, quick cleanup job on it, on the pistons themselves. Do a quick little clean on the cylinder walls. Give it the cross hatch. All right, all piston tops are clean. Easy, don't fall. Nice and clean. What's next? What do we got next? We're gonna wire wheel the top of the block. Right. The head mating surface. Right. We're gonna SOS this little bit of light rust out of each cylinder. There. After we do the block top, we're gonna do this. Blow it all out. Blow, and then, bl then blow it out, out cylinder by cylinder. And then, uh, then it's gasket time. Gasket and head time and yeah. all maybe. the other little stuff, distributor, intake. Clean all, all the threads maybe. Try to clean this stuff up a little bit better than what it is yeah. for 
shits and giggles. What, are you getting tired? <laughs> I was holding my breath. All right, so I'm cleaning the cylinder with just a bit of dry SOS. And I want I want to see if you can hear this. Let's just say it's got quite the ledge. That should be smooth. Oh my god, it's terrible. Still gonna send it though. <laughs> As you can see, I've cleaned the deck. I've cleaned the deck on both sides. Piston tops are clean. Now I'm just slowly cleaning the cylinder walls with dry SOS and it's coming out pretty good. So I started tapping the head bolt. Uh, Nice and clean. Dad wire wheeled all the head bolts. This is not the head bolt, but just the same thread. So I started tapping all the threads. Nice and clean. And you can see, you can see the difference between a clean one and a dirty one. So I got two more to do on this side. One, two. Done all those, all the tops except for those two, like I said. Then I'll get onto the other side. And then I'll blow the cylinders out, rotate the assembly so I can do this piston or this uh, cylinder and this cylinder cleaning wise. And then the heads are ready to go on. All right, so dad was nice enough to clean the heads while I was gone. All the inside of the ports are all clean, or chambers I should say. All the gasket faces are all cleaned. Uh, he also tapped all the holes to make, their, to make sure they're all clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow them all out. wanted to do this outside because there's some cars inside that I don't necessarily want to get dirty. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of dust. So 
I think those are ready to get installed. Got the cylinder heads torqued down. Now uh, I'm just gonna make quick work of cleaning all this uh, sludge out just to try and help it out. Also gonna blow out the lifters. And then start installing the push rods, which are sitting right there. I think I'm almost growing a sentimental attachment to this motor after all this work plugging up the intake ports and uh, some oil holes in the lifter valley. Time for a little clean. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. We did quite a bit of work on this car so far. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button below and stay tuned to see if this pony will actually come back to life.